dear students welcome to introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnology lecture number nine so i'm dr parvez ahmad and this lecture again so we will proceed with the physical properties of the nanomaterials but here in this particular lecture uh, we will have a discussions on uh, effects of size and crystal structures so let's proceed towards today's lecture so today's lecture, as I mentioned, uh, we will have a discussions on size and crystal structures. So uh, we will start the discussions uh, from a question that how does crystal structure affect uh, nanoparticles? I mean, you know that nanoparticle is a particular kind of uh, nanomaterial. So uh, we will start the discussions on from this particular question that is how does crystal structures uh, impact nanoparticles so uh, with that uh, we will have to introduce uh, another identity or uh, another uh, special terminology that is called uh, structural magic number now what is uh, structural magic number uh, so uh, we have a formal definition for the structure magic number that is inside a particles uh, this is basically the optimum number of the atom that lead to a stable configurations while maintaining a specific structures i mean if you are intending uh, for trying a stable configurations uh, with uh, maintaining a specific uh, structure so for that we need a particular number uh, in a particle so that particular number uh, we basically call uh, structural uh, magic number I mean we will explain it a bit further uh, that what is actually mean by structural magic number so structure basic number is uh, structural magic number is basically equal to uh, minimum volume and maximum density configurations I mean whenever uh, you heard the word uh, structural magic number so you should refer to uh, minimum volume and maximum density configuration uh, so structural magic number uh, is basically equal to uh, minimum value and maximum density uh, configuration so if the crystal structure is known then the number of the atom per particles can be calculated i mean you should remember that inside the particles and we already have a discussion on the nanoparticle we said that it's a zero dimension structure uh, by zero dimension structure we mean that all of the dimension of the nanoparticle it lies within 100 nanometers that is why we call that zero dimension uh, structures and we remember inside a nanoparticle we have many number of atoms and that we already discussed on uh, uh, in the previous lecture so if the crystal structure is known uh, then uh, the number of atom per particle can be calculated I mean this terminology especially uh, it's of special interest uh, when you trying to synthesize are you trying to synthesize nanoparticles for some research purpose or for some uh, I mean thesis purpose you're trying to do your ampere or PhD research and you are being given the task to synthesize uh, nanoparticles and to uh, calculate the crystallite size so you can do that uh, once you know the structure the crystal structure i mean once you know the crystal structure so from that you can calculate the number of atom per particles uh, you can easily do that uh, similarly we have close back uh, magic number clusters and for that uh, i mean in order to understand that so uh, you should have to have a clear look uh, here uh, and this figure what we have here uh, we have here on the leftmost side here we have full shell that is magic number cluster uh, I mean it's the magic number cluster uh, in which we have uh, here these are basically the full shells it's a magic number uh, cluster and here we have number of number of shells a number of atom and cluster and percentage of the surface atom so these are full shells I mean this is shell past second third fourth and fab so now in this shells here you can see that this is a smaller shell so uh, it's a full smaller shell uh, so here we have the number of shell um, and the number of shell here uh, it is one 
So, here in this uh, one shell, we have the number of atom in a cluster is equal to 13. And in this particular uh, shell, uh, in this particular shell, uh, we have number of atom uh, in cluster uh, is equal to 13. And the percentage of the surface atom is highest, is the highest, and it is equal to 92. I mean, 92 atom can be found at the surface of this shell. I mean, uh, you know that it has, uh, I mean, less number of atom. So, less number of atom means smaller shells. So, the smaller shells, uh, we have more atom at the surface as compared to the volume. Now, we have the, the, the second cluster. So, uh, the number of shell we have in this, uh, in this pull magic number cluster, uh, here we have the number of shell is equal to 2. And here, uh, the number of atom in a cluster is, I mean, uh, it's more than the previous one. I mean, it's range of 255. So, uh, the percentage of the surface atom here, uh, it, uh, I mean, goes down to 76. Similarly, we have uh, this cluster and this cluster number of shells equal to 3. And the number of atom in the clusters, uh, it uh, increases up to 147. So, along with that, the percentage of surface atom, it decreases to 63. Uh, it's a big cluster again. Here we have the number of shells 4 and the number of atom in a cluster is uh, range up to 309. So again the percentage uh, atom at the surface is reduced to 52. And then this is the biggest shell. Uh, the number of shells here uh, is equal to 5 and the number of atoms uh, in the cluster is range up to 561. And percentage of surface atoms uh, is equal to uh, 45. So what did it mean? It means that with increase in the number of shell, uh, the number of atom also increases in the uh, in the cluster. And along with that, the percentage the percentage of the atom on the surface it also reduces. So the smaller number of the uh, I mean uh, the smaller number of the shell we have. Uh, the more atom it will contain at the surface and if we have the larger number of shells so it will have a larger number of the atom but it will have the minimum uh, atom at the surface so uh, how to summarize the fact we have magic numbers so magic numbers basically equal to uh, magic number basically mean that cluster has a complete regular outer geometry I mean, this is, this is the shortest and the finest definition of the magic number. I mean, just like we have it here. So, what is mean by magic number? Magic number means that uh, we have a particular structure uh, uh, that, that we call cluster. And that cluster has a complete a regular outer geometry. That is exactly what you can see it here. I mean, these are uh, the clusters. Uh, I mean, these are the magic numbers. You can see it here. So we have, uh, I mean, the proper definition for uh, the magic number. So uh, again, uh, we have magic number that is called, uh, uh, that is, that is mean we have uh, a cluster uh, uh, and that is complete, uh, regular outer geometry. And it's been formed by successively packing of layered around a single metal, uh, metal atom. So what it mean? It mean that first we have a single atom and on that atom we put uh, layer by layer uh, other material i mean we, we i mean here we have uh, a layer growth of the material just like you can have it here we have one atom then uh, we put another and then and so on i mean just like you can see i mean the bigger the number of shells uh, the larger number of shell you have the more easily you can understand here the example i mean uh, the magic number has been formed by successively packing up layer. I mean, here you can easily understand this. That is, we have packing up uh, layers, packing up layers around a single atoms. So, number of atoms, what it means? It means that uh, number of atoms, if we denoted by Y, for example, in a shell, uh, that is denoted by N. So, we have a relations, that is, for number of atoms, we have relations. Uh, I mean, uh, if we denote the number of atom by y and shell by n, so then we have a relations for uh, calculating the number of atoms uh, that is equal to y and that is equal to 10 n square. 
plus 2 uh, where n is equal to n is equal to 1 uh, 2 and 3 and so on I mean this is what this is a, a specific I mean formula for uh, number of atom in a shell I mean if you want to calculate the number of atom in a shell so we have this sample is uh, formula and where n n is just an integer uh, which has a value 1 2 3 uh, up to so on so decreasing what it mean if you have a clear look here uh, just I mentioned before uh, decreasing percentage of surface atom as cluster grow I mean the more we grow the crustal the less number of atom can be found at the surface I mean here you can easily understand it from this figure I mean the more the cluster grows uh, the less number of atom uh, we have at the surface so this is an important fact uh, you should know about that so uh, for n layers uh, if we have a cluster and in that particular cluster if we have n layers so the number of atom n that we denoted by capital N uh, is uh, in an approximately spherical FCC nanoparticle is given by the following formula I mean uh, we are trying to give a generalized formula uh, we, 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 we are trying to have a, a cluster or, or we have a, a nanoparticles which has space center cubic structures a spherical structure but that is space center cubic so uh, here we have in that particular uh, nanoparticle we have n layers and uh, we have n number of atoms so for that we have the formula uh, I mean for the number of atom in order to calculate the number of atom so we have the formula that is n is equal to where n stand for number of atoms and that is equal to 1 by 1 over 3 n to 10 n square uh, where this small n uh, here we mentioned that uh, this small n is basically for uh, number of layers n is for number of layers so 10 n square minus 15 n square plus 11 n uh, minus 3 so that is formula for calculating uh, the number of uh, atoms so uh, the number of atom on the surface uh, if you want to calculate the number of atom on the surface so here uh, we just put uh, with the capital N we put SURF, SURF means surface it is how you, you calculate the number of atom at the surface. So we have the short formula N that is number of atom at the surface is equal to 10 N square minus 20 N plus 12. This is the formula for calculating the number of atom uh, at the surface. So here is a practical example that is uh, I mean how you calculate the number of atom uh, in a rare gas or metallic nanoparticle with space center cubic uh, close packing structure so here we will have an example just like we have pointed out this one uh, where we have number of shells equal to 9 so here is an example and from that example you will come to know that how these values I mean they, they are being taken from a paper uh, and the, the, the reference is given here so you can easily find that paper and you can also find if you are interested so you can also find further detail in this particular paper so here is the example for uh, calculations and the example is somehow look like that how many atoms uh, I mean how many atoms that we denote by ants are in idealized uh, gold nanoparticles with the following diameters I mean we have uh, a particular in idealized gold nanoparticles uh, with the following diameters now how much diameter uh, that uh, gold nanoparticle have so we mentioned that uh, the gold nanometer we have with the diameter is equal to 5 nanometer 5 nanometer gold nanometer nanoparticle we have so now the task is that we are being asked to calculate that how many atom it contain that idealized uh, nanoparticle which has the diameter equal to 5 nanometer so you know that on the previous slide uh, we have the formula so if we proceed according to that formula so we have uh, that uh, nanoparticle with 5 nanometer gold nanoparticles uh, we have uh, 9 shell uh, so 9 shell mean that n is equal to 9 and you know that what is mean by n and we mean uh, number of layer the number of layer is equal to 9 and 
nanoparticle diameters. So nanoparticle diameter is equal to seventeen uh, d, uh, which is equal to four point eight nine six uh, nanometer. Which here you can see it again. Uh, we have it here. Uh, that is seventeen d. Now from that uh, you have to proceed to find the number of atom. And for a number of atom, you know we have the formula uh, just on the previous slide. That is n is equal to 1 over 3 and 2 10 and cube minus 15 and square plus 11 and minus 30 uh, minus 3. So now you just put the value. Uh, you put the value for the n and do the calculations. So you will find that n is equal to uh, 2057. So that is the number of atoms that are being found in idealized gold nanoparticles with the following uh, diameter so this is how you find uh, i mean the number of atom in a particular uh, nanoparticle so similarly you can do that for uh, i mean for other uh, nanoparticle with the uh, with the given diameter or with the approximate value for example if you are being given uh, nanoparticles uh, i mean with the 10 nanometer diameter so with 10 nanometer diameter, you can do the calculation. You can do the same process. So you will get that is the number of atom for 10 nanometer particle diameter that will be equal to 17,900. Uh, similarly, if you increase the number, uh, I mean increase the diameter of the nanoparticle. So for 20 nano uh, nanometer particle, here you can see that we have an enormous increase in the number of atom. That is, I mean, it is almost 137,000. Uh, atom that would contain in 20 nanometer uh, particles. Um, I mean, with the diameter, the, the particle which has a diameter of this much. Similarly, if you further increase, uh, so here you can see that with increase in the diameter of the particle, how much the number of atom, I mean, it's been increased. So, all it's been summarized here in this particular paper. You are interested, so you can download and you can study it for all point information. I mean, it is, uh, I mean, it's the formula that how you calculate. The number of atom and a particular uh, nanoparticles uh, with a particular or with a given uh, diameter. So that's all we have for this lecture. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next lecture very soon. That will be lecture number ten, and that we again we will proceed with the physical properties of the nanomaterials. But here on uh, we will discuss the wall crystal shape. Uh, that's uh, for special importance regarding the nanomaterials. So for uh, wall crystal shapes, uh, you have to stay tuned with the next lecture. Uh, till then, bye-bye. Uh,